Yes. And thank you very much. Some people just don't have any patience. I know the feeling. I'm not going to ask how you are. Obviously, you're in a foul mood. Thanks to you. I suppose you're here to talk about Justin Marshall. Yes, I am. Okay? But don't expect me to apologize. You don't believe that an apology is in order? No. But I'm curious, Grant. Obviously, you feel that I should. Yes, I do. Well, I disagree. I haven't done a thing wrong. Rena, you are the head of my production division. Everything that you do reflects on world oil. I will not have you pulling stunts like that. I will not have you involving world oil in your personal squabbles. I did not involve world oil. World oil wasn't mentioned in the paper. Can't you see what you're doing? Obviously, I can't, but I'm sure you're going to tell me. Well, Grant. somebody has to talk some sense into oh, you. Oh, Grant, I, I just had a score to settle with Justin Marshall. It's as simple as that. Now, I suppose there are people who are going to think that what I did was wrong. But I don't care what they think. Well, you're absolutely right. There are people who think that what you did was reprehensible, and that includes me. I'm sorry you don't approve. I don't. Rena, I don't think you're ever going to be able to stop being ruled by your emotions, and that's going to affect your job. And your job is much too important to take a back seat to personal vendettas. I've settled that score with Justin. From now on, I'm going to concentrate all of my energies right here on the job. I've heard that before. I mean it this time. I'm going to be the best production chief in the entire state. I'd like to believe you. You can. You run the risk of destroying your career for a lot of stupid reasons. Grant, I'm not going to destroy anything. I'm going to make world oil bigger than ever. You mean that? Yes, I do. You're going to have to prove it to me. I will. Discipline yourself, Rena. Do the job that you can do, or you're through. I won't disappoint you. Then perform. The words don't mean a thing. Now, Ryan is leaving today, so you'll be working very closely with TJ. Yes, I know that. I've been getting together with him. Good. Do your job. Or else? I've already said everything there is to say. There's nothing to talk about. Look, I know that I said that we can't have a baby now, not when we're still in school. And I know I said I was worried about my career. I still am. I love you. It's too late. <sighs> no, we can get married. You can, you can have our baby. And we'll finish school. It's too late. What do you mean? I've already taken care of it. I don't need you. I don't need anybody. How could you, Ashley? I love you. Don't you talk to me about love. You don't even know the meaning of the word. TJ? Rena. I think you owe me an apology. Paige. 
Oh, Elliot. Hello. Hi. Sorry. So much on my mind. Why don't you take a break and have a little bite to eat with me? Oh, thank you. I would love to, but I have so much work to do this morning, I haven't gotten to any of it. Problems? Justin, I'm very worried about you. Yes, I saw that in the paper. What happened over oh, there? Oh, Elliot. Rena arranged for Ashley's doctor to be there. The doctor? A man who specializes in women who can't get pregnant. Ashley's not pregnant? No. When Justin found out, he went crazy. Well, why in the world would she lie about being pregnant? She knew how much he wanted a son. She thought it was the only way to get him to marry her. Oh, well, that's desperation. I feel so sorry for her, Elliot. She was over here this morning. Justin never came home last night, and she's just worried sick. Well, from the way you look, so are you. I can't help it. I'm worried about both of them. Well, I understand your concern, but maybe you shouldn't get involved in this. Why? Because you don't approve of Justin? No. Because I'm worried about you. You've been through a lot lately. You don't need to take on anyone else's problems. I'm not. Well, it sounds as if you are. Well, I just can't stand by and watch Rena Decker tear my brother's marriage apart. Oh, Paige, stay out of it. You could just make things worse. How? Well, Iris tried to help Dennis, and you see how she ended up hurting him. Are you comparing me with Iris? No, of course not. But uh, marital problems belong to the husband and wife. Well, I don't see it that way, Elliot. Justin is my brother, and I'm not going to watch him be destroyed. Well, just be careful. I will. But don't ask me to walk away from my brother when he needs me. Come on, Justin, have a little more coffee. I don't want any coffee. Come on, it's gonna make you feel better. Come Sir, on. I don't want any coffee. I want a drink. Oh, look, uh, I, I think that's a good idea, Mr. Marshall, for you to have anything more to drink, all right? I didn't ask you. Billy Joe, let me talk to you for a minute. Excuse me. I guess I could have anything more to drink, you hear? I'm gonna give him some coffee with you. So just stop worrying about it, okay? I want you to do something for me. What? I want you to go over to Paige's boutique and tell her that Justin is here. Now, what could that go to? She's not going to be able to handle him in the bear we can. That's her problem, Billy Joe. Just go. Why don't we just call her up? No. I think it'd be better if you go over there. You're a friend of hers, aren't you? Yeah. Well, do you think this is the kind of news she wants to hear by phone? I think you should tell her in person. Yeah, maybe you're right. Are you sure you're going to be all right with this guy? I'm going to be fine. Just go, all right? <laughs> 